method of computation and mechanical aids on the, and, and mathematical tables, uh, something like this, with aids of computation. Its whole purpose, is then to Hitler, was to actually do computation. But because of our mathematical hang-up, it deteriorated, it forgot its original goal. It then became a second, okay, not second class, a first class, but not super class, a zonal of numerical analysis and computational number theory. And here is a report of the computational I've made it also posted in my website, uh, and I'm going to make it into opinion. Uh, it is a video report by the learned referee. Method met, met, met of computation, let's go our second try. Report on Rademacher's infinite partial fraction conjecture almost, is almost certainly false. This is an interesting paper. It presents substantial computational evidence Concerning, concerning, sorry, concerning certain coefficients of the partial fraction extension of the product, except and yes, right, the same thing. This evidence makes it very unlikely that Rademacher's conjecture that for fixed blah 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 the coefficient tends to the limit is correct. However. He does not disprove it. Nor does he describe analytically the behavior of these coefficients for large n. I disagree. We did so uh, verbally. It's strongly suggested from the graphs presented in the paper that this behavior should be describable. This paper should certainly be published somewhere. It's not complete luck. It should be published somewhere. Ah. But not in my backyard! Not in my pretentious! Journal of mass computation that has became a second rate uh, journal of the mass analysis. If you look at the notorious Australian ranking, this only has A. But there's another journal, numerical mathematics, and, and journal drawn, numerical. And I have from numerical, numerical analyst in A class. So in the pecking order of this, you first start this, try this. And if it doesn't work out, then you try this. <laughs> but it's not high enough, so he concludes. This paper should certainly, once again, certainly be published. It should not be a thrown to the uh, trash bin. Somewhere, somewhere, but not in my journal. But in view of its inconclusive nature, I do not think that it meets the high standards of mass of computation. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's not good enough for method computation. So since two seals still didn't have Kanga at the time, and even now he's not fully promoted, he's only a young associate professor. So he still has to beef up his CV. I kindly agree to try again. To the journal that was meant to publish such kind of non-rigorous papers. It has the same name as this seminar. Journal, Journal of Experimental Mathematics. It was founded in 1994 by a very visionary mathematics, David Epstein, that is no longer involved. He's a nice guy. And the purpose was, so even from the narrow-minded late 20th and early 21st century attitude of mathematics, this would have been the ideal place. In fact, the referee for the PNAS that rejected our paper suggested that we submit it here. And to my dismay, and may I confess to my great delight, <laughs> because when I get a paper, I have to admit that it's a personal weakness. When I get a paper, get accepted, I'm a little bit happy. It's a nice paper, instead of my this publication in the uh, journal, a purely good journal, to have been 1985, it's now 106. So it's a minor happiness. <laughs> but if you have to that in next my day, can you give a talk like this and uh, tell him how stupid the, nowadays the editor is? So this was the most shocking thing. And unlike the previous case, 
in which was just an example of narrow-mindedness. Here is a combination of narrow-mindedness, of course, and but also editorial incompetence. incompetence. So Yuri Schinker replaced the previous editor-in-chief a, a few years ago, a, four years ago. And he, I'm sure he's getting paid for it. He's a public, pub, he used to be A.K. Peters, a visionary public, sorry, a visionary one man, sorry, two men, Alice and Klaus Peters. They had a beautiful publishing house, very beautiful, great people, lots of classics, including A plus B, was published there, published there, and they started this visionary journal. But as they got older, they decided they have to uh, hand it over. And now it's owned by the conglom conglomerate monster publisher, Taylor and Francis. But Taylor and Francis agreed to keep it autonomous, and they hired Alice and Klaus Peters. A few months later, they fired them, because they were not as worried as much, probably, about the bottom line as Taylor and Francis wanted. They were too, they cared too much about mathematics and too little about money. So they got fired, but that's only a side remark. But I'm sure that Mr. Professor Schinker, Yuri, Schinker, an excellent, an excellent algebraic geometer who knows a lot of mathematics, a student of Yuri Manin, and has, I'm not saying he's stupid. He's not a stupid algebraic geometer. He's a very smart, possibly excellent, possibly even great, I can not judge, algebraic geometer. But he's a very, 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 very bad mathematician. And he's also a very, very bad editor. So his algorithm, instead of sending it to a referee and asking and possibly getting uh, the referee refusing and trying again and again, he has an efficient way. He referees it himself. So he takes three minutes of his busy time and referees it. So here is the referee report, which I'm almost sure, also I don't have a rigorous proof once again, uh, that it was written by himself. The free report of Yuri Sinker, which possibly is him himself. The authors devise a recursive procedure for enhanced computation of the coefficients, blah, 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 which produce more specific data. They later form the basis of a conjecture on the blah, 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 conjecture to point in the paper. However, this conjecture does not ring with enduring significance. Now, please, please, Yuri, explain to me why that did not ring with enduring, enduring significance. <laughs> I asked him to clarify, but uh, he ignored my request. Maybe because I also called him name. A great person should noise out okay, somebody. Yeah. However, this conjecture does not even exist again. Because it's neither based on general premises nor constructive. I don't know what he means there. There are usually many ways to say that a single analytic property fails, especially as more extensive data becomes available. My conjecture is that he's not that stupid. He just spent one minute, looked at it, and made up a fake a free report. So yeah, I cannot blame him. Yeah, if I only had one minute to look at paper, I'd probably say the same. Except I'm a nice guy. I would accept it. I would say I read it, and it's beautiful uh, without any the details. But he's not a nice guy, so accept <laughs> <laughs> it. Yeah. A better approach, so not to be imposed on the authors presently, would be to return to other markets or reason analysis and attempt to modify his derivation with the aim of obtaining a conjecture that is likely to be true. If you look at what Rademark had, his one section, the only intuition was that it's very plausible that something that goes forever uh, to infinity would exist. There's no, nothing here. Of course, he didn't check. He just made it up. He just faked it. And then, right after this, he had the editorial decision based on the referee, quote unquote, report. Yuri, Yuri, please confess to me that it was you. I'm almost sure. If not, it's really sad, uh, this referee, uh, because you're an editor who referees uh, many papers uh, in two minutes. It's reasonable to make such mistakes. If a real referee, uh, it'd be really, really uh, even more shocking. 
Now the editor's message. Based on the referee comments that I got myself, we regret that we cannot accept your paper at this time in its current form. I would be willing to consider a new version which takes into account the remarks in, in very stupid and that makes sense of the referee. In particular, you should revise the text. The new version will be treated as a separate submission. We appreciate the consideration of experimental mathematics. Okay, so, so enough is enough. A major, there's something wrong with our system. A major conjecture made by a major mathematician was convincingly disproved with a nice, clever new algorithm that gives 900 terms, where George Andrews back in 2003 was only able to give eight terms. That convincingly shows that this conjecture would have been great if it would have been true. It's false. I think it's interesting. I think it's worth three or four pages in the proceeding of the Academy of Science, or at least have six pages in mathematical computation, or at least six pages in exp enough experimental mathematics. But no, no, eh, it's not eh, good enough. But it's not your fault, George Andrews. It's not your fault. Oh, I have to give credit. Because it's you. Eh, unfortunately, I don't know the editor of who rejected the one for mathematical computation. But the editor who sent the rejection was it the editor-in-chief, who, who is a numerical analyst, I'm sure, excellent numerical analyst. But of course, he has no, he has no clue about this topic, number two. His name is she. But here's the part about I beg him to tell me who was the editor, the man of the editor was, he referred to, who made the decision. But he said the policy of mass computation is not to reveal, this is the referee, of course, but not the identity of the associate editor who handled it. The most natural candidate will be Igor Sparlinsky, an excellent cryptographer and number theorist, who I admire a lot. And when I asked him, he said it was not him. But sadly, he said he would have made the same decision as the other one. Mass of computation is a mess or not? Non-rigorous proof, this proof does not count. And give an example, if a Nobel Prize winner in quantum mechanics would have uh, published something non-rigorous, it would be very interesting, but not appropriate for a math journal. So, I respectively disagree. If this Nobel Prize winner or anybody else would have found interesting new mathematical knowledge, of course it's physics, not appropriate, but it's mathematical. This is a concept of mathematical, not physics. They would very, very much and appropriate for measure computation. So it's still an open question who it is, but until then, he is the one who is responsible. He sent the rejection letter. And also for, uh, and for method computations. So I hope that this video will stay for a long time, and when I have a chance, I try to write it up. Is it a paper or an opinion? And I give an option to apologize. The Prime Minister of a Great Britain, a Gordon Brown, a two years ago, publicly apologized to Alan Turing for how he was treated uh, by, the, the, uh, by the system, by the establishment. He said he publicly apologized. He's very, very, very sorry what he did to Alan. I'm not saying that the tragedy here is comparable. Not at all. It's only by analogy. But even minor crimes should be apologized. So please, 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 uh, academician George Andrews, please write me an email apologizing and stating I made an editorial error. This paper would have been perfect for the proceeding of the National Academy of Science. And as a token of forgiveness, I'd like to donate $100 uh, to the Wikipedia Foundation or any other uh, versicles. versicles. Not, uh, not some of them. <laughs> you have to ask me first. <laughs> so, 100 plus times n. If n is number of years with apology, so 2000 and n minus 2012. So, 
send me a receipt and the donation should be specifically for an apology for this. Also, Professor Chi Wan Shu, a great numerical analyst <coughs> who is responsible, because he didn't tell me who it is, for rejecting his formation computation. You should apologize and oh no no sorry. At least at least <laughs> A donation of 150. And finally, Jürgen Sinker, you should apologize and say there was a big mistake. There was a determined mistake. It was two things. First, attitude mistake, philosophical uh, oh, attitude, and also a simple editorial error. And frankly, you are not qualified to be the editor of J. Of experimental mess. So, in addition, uh, uh, Yuri, in addition to your apology, please, please, please resign from the editorial board. And why Yuri Sinkel, who I don't think is competent uh, to be an editor of an innovative uh, journal like this? The members of the editorial board implicitly are also responsible. I, I emailed them, I told them about it, and I didn't get my sympathy. Uh, he, uh, John Bowman, a guru of Spencer Mess, said, oh, life is too short to worry about things. Uh, that life goes on, and so he told me <laughs> that I'm making too much of a big deal. So I disagree, uh, John. Uh, if you have injustice, you have to speak out. So uh, my good friend, uh, George, uh, Professor Chi Wang Su, whom I don't know, but I'm sure uh, they're not a bad person, and Yuri Schinkel, uh, please, please, I'm waiting for your apology. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.